apologies for my hair, ladies and gentlemen. Peter Gilmore here, impromptu video. I'm trying not to show so much emotion right now, but I'm watching NXT, watching along with, uh, you know, Issa and everybody, and uh, somebody in the chat mentioned some really horrible news. I, and I thought it was a hoax at first, because, you know, when somebody you tell somebody says, oh, so-and-so, this, this person died, and then you look it up, and like, oh, it's a hoax, right? And they're like, oh, shut up, right? But, um, Tony Khan tweeted a couple of hours of, a couple of hours ago that we lost Jay Briscoe. I'm not kidding. I'm not making this up. This is not clickbait or anything like that. Um, we lost Jay Briscoe today. Uh, he uh, died in a, I believe, a car crash. I I'm shocked. I'm in shock. 38 years old. Former Ring of Honor, two-time Ring of Honor champion. 13-time Tag team champion, they had, I mean, him and Mark, legendary tag team, probably one of the best tag teams in the business. They just had an epic match at Final Battle, winning the, the tag team belts for the 13th time, that epic double dog call the match against FTR. I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. I'm gonna I'm gonna simulcast this. Um, I'm gonna put it up on my Peter Gilmore channel, but I'm gonna also put it up on my Metal Guy channel, so you can, guys can hear see it there, and then on my tribute channel. Um, but I I'm still in shock. I, I can't even watch NXT right now. I don't even feel like watching NXT right now. You know, out of res you know, but out of respect for Jay, you know, he the show must go on, and um, I'm gonna keep watching NXT because I'm a wrestling fan. But right now, my thoughts and my prayers go out to, you know, Mark Briscoe, his fan, uh, his family, Jay Briscoe and his family. I mean, he has young kids, you know, Papa Briscoe and uh, the entire Ring of Honor family, the AEW family, basically every wrestler right now. And just, it's not a good, it's got not a good night. Not, not a good night. It hasn't been really a great start of 2023. We lost Lisa Marie Presley. We lost, um, so many great people so far this year. And, uh, now we lose Jay Briscoe. And I'm glad that I met the Briscoes. A whole ton of times I met Jay when when he won when he first won the Ring of Honor title from Kevin Steen at Supercar Honor Seven many moons ago. I met him the day after he won the belt. Congratulated him. He actually put the belt on my shoulder, which I don't even know if I have that picture anymore. But but still, you know, I you know I didn't like the Briscoes at first. You know, I thought they were, you know, just two country boys, you know, blah, blah, blah. But over the years, I started getting, you know, to watch their matches. And their matches are always bangers. And they used to curse up a storm every freaking promo they did in Ring of Honor. They've been, in, they were with Ring of Honor since day one, since from 2002 all the way up to now. And, you know, it is what it is. So, let me read the, the tweet from Tony Khan. You can just go on Tony Khan's Twitter page and, uh, you know, read it. But I'm going to read it for you. Uh, Tony Khan says, and I quote, Sadly, Jamin Pugh, whose real name is um, Jay Briscoe, uh, star in Ring of Honor for over 20 years from the first show until today, uh, has uh, passed away. Uh... Jay and his brother Mark dominated Ring of Honor, reigning as champions to this very day. We'll do whatever we can to support his family. Rest in peace, Jamin. So, yeah. I can imagine on um, AEW tomorrow, they're going to do an in-memoriam uh, picture 
of Jay Briscoe. So yeah, so if you want to, you want, you know, we always wanted, you know, the Briscoes to appear on Dynamite on AEW, um, but you know, with Turner, well, not Turner, sorry, TBS, and we we're, were TBS and Turner. They didn't want the Briscoes because what what Jay Briscoe said many like in 2012 or 13 or whatever it was you know they were not cosmetically pleasing to even go to the WWE at the time but they stood their ground and you know Mark is going to go down as uh, probably one of the best Ring of Honor champions they held it for a pretty he didn't hold it for um well he he held it for a pretty long time um, beating the likes of Michael Elgin, Adam Cole, Bebe at, at Final Battle 2014. He he went I think a year uh, I think a year or two without getting pinned, and then um, probably one of his best matches was when he had um, the Ring of Honor title and he fought Kate Lethal, who had the TV title to unify the titles at Best of the World 2015. Which I was I was at, by the way. But great wrestler, great person, great family man, cursed like a sailor. But but it is what it is. So that's all I'm gonna say right now. I'm gonna try to get through NXT, but right now my emotions are not even wanting to watch NXT right now. So I'm just gonna continue praying for Jay Briscoe and his yeah Jay Briscoe and his family, Mark, Papa Briscoe, the kids, you know, and we'll see what um uh, Tony Khan does tomorrow. I'm I'm pretty sure they're gonna either do a ten bell salute or they're gonna they're gonna put up a picture with in memoriam Jamin Pugh, aka Jay Briscoe. Uh, so as the tag team titles for Ring of Honor, I would I don't know what Tony Khan would do if, if it was me. I would probably. Well, I don't. I don't think Mark would continue on. I mean, he his brother would say, yeah, just go on with another another uh, another partner and defend the belts." Or I I would think they're gonna um vac I think Jay sorry Mark is gonna vacate the Ring of Honor tag team belts and probably get a maybe a tournament started to crown new Ring of Honor tag team champions. I mean, it remains to be seen what's going to happen between tomorrow and Supercard of Honor in March, at the end of March. But, eh, we'll see what happens with that. And uh, the Briscoes are, uh, they're in the Ring of Honor Hall of Fame. They're the first in, um, inductees into the uh, inaugural Ring of Honor Hall of Fame, along with CM Punk, Homicide, uh, and others. But... If I was Hunter, Hunter, if you're watching, I know you are, I would definitely put the Briscoes in the Hall of Fame this year. You have to, because they're one of the, the pillars of the tag team division of, of the modern era. Along with the Bucks, along with FTR, along with the Usos, New Day, and everything, everybody else. You have to put their name in the hat for best tag team, best tag team of the modern era. Not the top one, not number one, but in the top five at least, top ten. But yeah, that's all I'm gonna say right now. So, um, rest in peace to Jay Briscoe. You know, you're in that wrestling ring in the sky right now with all those all the great people. But. Just shows you, as I always say in my tribute videos, life is precious. We don't know when we may go. It could be today, it could be to tonight, tomorrow, the next day, next week, next month, next year. But take every day as it comes. Live life to 100%. You know, just take every day as it comes because you never know when you're going to go. I mean, we don't have that clock. I always say we don't have that clock and that... You know, that great Nickelback video saving me. We don't have that clock with a countdown clock. You know, when we go, when our time is up, our time is up, whether we like it or not. So, and that's all I got to say about that. So, as I always do for my tribute videos and my rest in peace videos, 
I like, take a ceremonial drink from whatever I got. If it's water, if it's Cherry Pepsi, so. So, so to Jay Briscoe, Jamin, rest in peace, my brother, and uh, man up, them boys. That's all I gotta say. Rest in peace. And uh, that's all I gotta say about that. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'll be back hopefully later with my NXT review, uh, which will be uh, in memoriam, uh, tribute to. Jay Briscoe, so I'm going to dedicate that video to Jay Briscoe, and uh, that's pretty much it, so thanks for watching, everybody. Rest in peace, Jay Briscoe. Thank you for watching.